so uh, once we have everything ready now i can you know go and get started with my first android app now before i uh, you know start with my first android app in the application i have to first set emulator as we have discussed in our earlier video and we need to select a particular api level and in my first android app i don't want to do anything complex i want to simply display an alert in our demo we will see how to display an alert to display an alert uh, here we need to you know make use of a class called as toast and i need to call a method that is make text which is an static method so i'll say toast dot make text and there are three parameters that i need to pass one is this which passes the current context or you know the information of the current app object then we'll display a message then i want the length of that message so how long that message should be on the screen so you have predefined you know timings then i'll say show so it is simple this is the line of code that we need to implement so i'll go for visual studio i'll say file new project i'll select from here i'll select c sharp in c sharp i'll select android then android application then i'll name it as my app or i'll say my first app say okay now before we dive into the code and the directory structure let us set an emulator so here we have open android emulator manager icon so i'll just open that already i have set an emulator which is of android 4.4.2 and api level 19 but anyway i'll show you how to create new virtual device i'll say new i'll name the device as mtt underscore new and i'll select nexus 4 and my target api again i'll select the highest skin i'll take hvga then i'll say okay so this is our configurations of our virtual device say okay now i'll select that new device and i'll say start launch so this is how your virtual mobile looks like now I'll close this now you can see this mtt underscore new is our target android device now let's look into our solution and the projects now this is our solution explorer in visual studio if i lose this window property window i'll close everything i can get back my solution explorer from view solution explorer see um, those who are you know visual studio developers they need not to you know know all these basic things i'm sure that you know very well all these basic things but this is for those who are who are very new to this visual studio environment so solution explorer we have a solution contains projects so here i have my first project that is my first app so as of now let us not uh, you know worry much about the directory structure let us see two things in resource in layouts you have main dot axml that is something about android xml i'll open this so this is my screen here here i'll i'll be talking in the terms of screen or i'll say activity the best terminology for this is this is my activity so one activity is one screen like one web form is a page one page in the same way one activity is one screen so this is my screen as we have a web page which has source and design view in the same way you have design and the source view this is the source code and this is the design so you have a button over here i'll delete this i don't want anything on this screen i want it to be you know everything from scratch i'll save this 
you can see in the source now you have nothing now any code related to this screen or use this activity that is main will be in main activity dot cs you see this main activity is derived from a class called as activity like a, a page a page is always or a web form is always derived from a page class in the same way my main activity is derived from an activity class and one more thing it is nothing like you know in, in c you might have heard about you know program execution starts from main but in android app there is nothing such no such things like there is no specific convention that you should go with main you can have you can name it anything you can name it anything so for now we are we are using main activity now i don't want anything here any custom code just you should see that in main activity there is a method called as on create so whenever this screen gets executed it will call on create method so in this main activity on create method gets executed so i need to set the content view like whenever this code ex gets executed it should display a screen that screen is nothing but resource dot layout dot main you see that in resource folder there is a layout folder in that there is a main so this is what the screen i want to show whenever this method gets executed or you know whenever this main activity gets executed so whenever i start the android app main activity gets executed first why because of this main launcher equals to true now you you if you have multiple activities you set this main launcher equals to true on a particular activity that activity gets executed first and i want to display a message once this is ready once it has you know displayed the layout i want to display a message that message is nothing but toast dot make text i want to you know pass the information about this activity so i'll use this keyword then message welcome to the world of mobile apps by yes manzoor the trainer dot com and this is this is the message that i have next i want the duration let the duration be long little longer finally i'll say dot show that's it it is going to launch the main screen on this screen you should see a message over here so let me execute this it says that you are about to launch mtt new emulator are you ready i'll say yes it will take a little time to you know build and deploy on this virtual device so finally it has got uh, deployed on our device let us say okay you can see that app here my first app now i'll click this now it says that you know it is built with evolution software now you see this message says welcome to the world of mobile apps i can I'll execute it once again go back my first app welcome to the world of mobile app by mandurdatrainer.com so that's it this is very simple now i won't close this device virtual device because you know i don't want to load this virtual device again and again i'll simply minimize this and i'll stop execution from here